in last video we have seen the molecular orbital diagram for nitric oxide molecule no molecule now the next point is formation of no plus that is nitrosyl ion this nitric oxide gets converted into nitrosyl ion by the loss of one electron from anti bonding molecular orbital of nitric oxide and in case of nitric oxide molecule there is one unpaired electron in anti bonding molecular orbital that is pi star 2p x and when this electron is lost nitric oxide gets converted into nitrosyl ion now in that case the bond order becomes you know the formula for bond order is number of bonding electrons minus anti bonding electrons upon 2 now bonding electrons will remain the same that is 8 but anti bonding electrons will reduced by 1 and therefore bond order it is equal to 8 minus 2 upon 2 that is equal to 3 in nitric oxide number of bonding electrons are 8 number of anti bonding electrons are 3 in case of nitric oxide but in nitrosyl ion as one electron is lost the number of anti bonding electrons becomes 2 instead of 3 so 8 minus 2 upon 2 that is equal to 3 it means bond order for nitrosyl ion is 3 and increase in bond order in nitrosyl ion it is supported by two important facts one important fact is there is a decrease in bond length you know bond order and bond length there is a inverse proportion greater the bond order greater the bond order lesser is the bond length and vice versa in nitrosyl ion as bond order increases its bond length should decrease and yes it is decreases than the bond length of nitric oxide in case of nitrosyl ion bond order is or bond length is 1.06 angstrom and in case of nitric oxide bond length is 1.15 angstrom unit so decrease in bond length it is supporting the bond order of nitrosyl ion 3 and that for nitric oxide it is 2.5 another important supporting point is in uh, nitrosyl ion when we compare the stabilities nitrosyl ion is more stable than nitric oxide and you know stability depends upon the bond order greater the bond order greater is the stability so this also supports the higher bond order in nitrosyl ion now after discussion of molecular orbital diagram for nitric oxide molecule the next point is the molecular orbital diagram for carbon monoxide molecule you know carbon monoxide molecule it is formed by two atoms two different atoms carbon and oxygen and therefore this is the heteronuclear diatomic molecule here oxygen is more electronegative than carbon electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 and that for carbon is 2.5 oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and carbon atomic number 6 has a electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p x1 2p y1 and 2p z0 it means in p orbital there are two electrons and in outermost shell of carbon there are four electrons similarly the electronic configuration of oxygen atomic number 8 it is 1s2 2s2 2p x2 2p y1 and 2p z1 in outermost shell of oxygen there are six electrons two electrons present in 2s orbital and there are four electrons in p orbitals now already i told you oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and therefore atomic orbitals of oxygen have lower energy than that of atomic orbitals of carbon and you know the fact greater the electronegativity of atom lower is the energy of atomic orbitals contributed by that particular atom and therefore atomic orbitals of oxygen have lower energy than the atomic orbitals of carbon 
hence oxygen has more contribution towards the formation of bonding molecular orbitals on the other hand carbon has less contribution towards the formation of bonding molecular orbital and this can be known by the linear combination of atomic orbital principle so according to lco principle the wave function for bonding molecular orbital psi b it is equal to x into psi c plus y into psi o actually psi c it is the wave function of atomic orbital contributed by carbon and psi o it is a wave function of atomic orbital contributed by oxygen and x and y these are the coefficients and uh, y is greater than x and this relation clearly indicates that the atomic orbital contributed by oxygen is having more contribution towards the formation of bonding molecular orbital because y is greater than x similarly psi a that is wave function of anti bonding molecular orbital it is equal to y into psi c minus x into psi o here the atomic orbital contributed by carbon having greater contribution towards the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital now the molecular orbital diagram for carbon monoxide molecule energy increases from bottom to top <coughs> to the left side atomic orbitals of carbon are represented to the right side of this mo diagram atomic orbitals of oxygen are shown and in between there are molecular orbitals of carbon monoxide so at carbon there is a 1s atomic orbital which has the least energy then 2s and there are 3p orbitals that is 2px 2py and 2pz all the three orbitals have same energy and they are degenerate with respect to energy similarly at oxygen there is a 1s orbital which has least energy but energy of 1s orbital of oxygen is lower than the energy of 1s atomic orbital of carbon because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon this is the 2s atomic orbital of oxygen it has slightly higher energy than 1s uh, energy of 1s atomic orbital and there are 3p orbitals 2px 2py and 2pz they are degenerate with respect to energy and energy of these 3p orbitals of oxygen is less than the energy of 3p orbitals of carbon again reason is oxygen is more electronegative than carbon now 1s orbitals of each atom they are not involved in bonding process but the 2s atomic orbitals of carbon and oxygen when combined with same sine wave function they form the bonding molecular orbital that is sigma 2s out of phase combination between 2s atomic orbitals of carbon and oxygen results in the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital sigma star 2s anti bonding molecular orbital is having higher energy as compared to atomic orbitals of carbon and oxygen as well as as compared to bonding molecular orbital similarly in phase combination between two 2pz atomic orbitals of carbon and oxygen results in the formation of bonding molecular orbital that is sigma 2pz it has lower energy <coughs> out of phase combination between two 2pz atomic orbitals of carbon and oxygen which are oriented along the internuclear axis results in the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital sigma star 2pz similarly in phase combination between 2 2px and 2 2py orbitals of carbon and oxygen results in the formation of bonding molecular orbitals that is pi 2px and pi 2py and they have a same energy and therefore they are shown at the same level similarly out of phase combination between 2 2px and 2 2py orbitals of carbon and oxygen results in the formation of 
two antibonding molecular orbitals of equal energy namely pi star 2px and pi star 2py now you know that at carbon there are six electrons first second third fourth fifth and sixth two electrons are there in 1s orbital in 2s orbital there are two electrons and in p orbital there are two electrons similarly at oxygen there are eight electrons this is the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth so in this way there are eight electrons out of eight, eight electrons two electrons are accommodated in lowest 1s atomic orbital there are two electrons in 2s atomic orbital and in p orbital there are four electrons now the electrons present in 1s orbital they are not involved in bonding process in outermost shell of carbon there are four electrons and in outermost shell of oxygen there are six electrons so four plus six so there are ten electrons to be ac accommodated in molecular orbitals formed during the combination between two atomic orbitals of combining atoms so first electron enter in sigma 2s orbital because it has the lowest energy then second electron enter in the same orbital now third electron enter in antibonding molecular orbital which has a higher energy than sigma 2s so fourth electron enter in the same orbital then fifth electron enter in sigma 2pz sixth electron enter in again sigma 2pz now seventh electron enter in pi 2px eight electron enter in pi 2py there is no pairing unless all the available orbitals of equal energy are singly occupied then this is the eight electron ninth electron enter in 2px and tenth electron enter in 2py orbital so in this way in carbon monoxide in molecular orbitals all the electrons are paired there is no any unpaired electron and therefore carbon monoxide is a diamagnetic molecule now electronic configuration of carbon monoxide is the k shell not involved in bonding process lowest molecular orbital is sigma 2s which contain two electrons so sigma 2s2 then sigma star 2s molecular orbital antibonding orbital contain two electrons so sigma star 2s2 then sigma 2pz orbital is having little bit higher energy than sigma star 2s and it also contain two electrons then pi 2px and pi 2py orbitals have equal energy and each of these contain two electrons and therefore pi 2px2 and pi 2py2 so all together total number of bonding electrons are two electrons present in sigma 2s and six electrons are present here so six plus two that is eight bonding electrons are there and there are two antibonding electrons and therefore bond order is nb minus na upon two that is number of bonding electrons minus number of antibonding electrons upon two and therefore it is equal to eight minus two upon two equal to three bonding electrons are eight antibonding electrons are two and eight minus two six by two that is equal to three it means in between carbon and oxygen <coughs> there is a triple bond and carbon monoxide is a diamagnetic so this is most important thing about the carbon monoxide its bond order is three and it is a diamagnetic molecule so highlighting facts about the carbon monoxide molecule it is obtained by the combination of two different atoms carbon and oxygen electronegativity is different for these two atoms oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and therefore atomic orbitals of oxygen are having little bit lower energy as compared to the atomic orbitals of carbon in carbon monoxide all the electrons are paired and therefore it is a diamagnetic and its bond order is three so these are the some highlighting points for the mo diagram for carbon monoxide